What's going on to you Aquarius out there? So, okay, so for you Aquarius, you have the Eight of Cups, Ace of uh, Pentacles, and then you Aquarius have the Knight of Pentacles. Things are going quite well in your life. I mean, <laughs> uh, the Eight of Cups represents a lot of you Aquarius. You're coming from a, a very big piece, a very, a very big place of peace. A lot of you have very much so internal peace in your life. Um, this is a very great, exciting time, festive time. Uh, and a lot of you Aquarius wish that things was like this for years. And once again, when the student is, re is ready, the master will appear, right? The teacher will appear, meaning that you Aquarius essentially weren't ready because you were younger, you were hard headed. And you still held on to a lot of the things that you needed to hope that you that you needed to let go of. You still held on to a lot of things. A lot of those instances of people that don't work, things don't work for you. You shouldn't be hanging out with them. You Aquarius, again, one of the things that you Aquarius hold near and dear to you is people. You want people to wake up, start making better decisions. Um, and, but again, sometimes you Aquarius, this is why it is that I say that Aquarius is actually the superhero. If you know anything about the zodiac signs, Aquarius is the superhero. Um, Horus, the, the Egyptian deity, right? In some instances, Horus is seen as an Aquarius, right? Ra, Ra, uh, Ra, Harakti, or Ra Hakuit is Aquarius. And you realize that trying to save people is not the best thing for you to do. Because while you're out here trying to save individuals, all it is that you're getting is people that you're trying to save on some matrix type stuff, turning out to be like a traitor, like Cypher. All they want to do is just get plugged back into the matrix or stay in the matrix. They're not trying to actually get make their lives better. They, they just stay, they, they're dry begging, they bums. They, they want somebody else to do all the work for them. They don't want to do any kind of real work themselves. They want to be lazy and be given everything while take nothing as precious, right? They don't appreciate, while at the same time, don't appreciate anything. And so the Eight of Cups represents you Aquarius had to go spring cleaning. You had to clean these people out of your life. Because like I said before, what happened before, before I said that y'all got a spring clean and after your lives are much better because like I said before, when you have people in your life and all they wanna do is mess around with you, play games with you, that also ruins the lifestyle that you have because just them being in your life, it makes you unhappy. You thinking about it, their presence closed doors. So now a lot of you Aquarius have that internal peace the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles represent a lot more wonderful things is happening for you. Money is going out, coming back in. Money is easier to attain for you, Aquarius. And this is what happens when you have, this is what happens when you genuinely have people that you could be in a relationship with, whether it is, whether it is romance, whether it is family, whether it is real good friends right when you have quality people in your life they will bring in more money they will i'm telling you they will bring in more money more money and 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 good fortune to you and this is what a lot of you aquarius it took you a minute for you to really understand what i was talking about but boom now you here now we here right and you're seeing what i'm talking about you your things for you are so festive while again nine of wands two of swords for other people that you essentially cut off things aren't festive with them at all and and see this is what i mean when i say that they that parasitic people have to attach themselves to a host it's not just a physical thing it's you know it's not just a physical thing where they're feeding off of you right they're eating off of you off of your plate it's also a mental thing, but it's also a spiritual thing too. They have to subjugate you mentally. They have to get you to think that you're nothing without them. You're not gonna accomplish anything without them. 
when we when we now know Aquarius that that's not true. We well, I knew that. I've been knew that, but I had to try. I had to show you Aquarius. I had to show you what it is that that's not actually true. That they that dysfunctional people really need someone that is responsible and functional in order to live. If, if truth be told, if you didn't exist, these people would have been up on out of here because they don't respect their own life. They 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 would do. They lack such direction. Once again, y'all really don't. Maybe I may get into it in a future video, but y'all really don't be understanding. Y'all be saving people's lives out here on some superhero stuff, but y'all don't even know what y'all be doing because people will really, like, unfortunately, you know, and I hope YouTube don't hit me for this, but people can, who think from that type of perspective, they can essentially not care about themselves, if you know what I mean when I say that. And your presence alone keeps them alive. It keeps them with a reason to exist, a reason to keep going, you know. But of course, they're parasites. So they're going to do what they're going to do. They, they don't respect anything, right? They don't know how to not fumble. So this is exactly what's going on with these people. Now they have to figure out a way to continue to go on without you, Aquarius, being in their life because... They messed up. They wanted to play all kind of games, play stupid games. They won a stupid prize now. While at the same time, they're still in denial. They're still trying to make it seem like they're waiting for you to actually be done with this new person that you with. They're waiting for you to, you know, maybe, you know, even if you're a single Aquarius, they're waiting for you to not be so confident. They're waiting for you to stop loving the decisions that you're making they're, they're waiting for you to 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 start making terrible decisions again so that they can get confirmation to come back in and 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 show up and, and ask you what's going on and find out how you're doing stuff like that so they're still not taking accountability they're still not doing that the seven of swords and the knight of swords is about how but that's the thing for them that they don't really seem to understand. They don't understand as well that a lot of you Aquarius have put up a spiritual psychic defense as well. Yes, you don't want to have anything to do with them, but it's also a spiritual defense because Eve, let's just say for instance, and I'm not wishing this on you in any shape, form or fashion, but even if you didn't have this person in your life that you're having fun time, or maybe, you know, for you Aquarius who are single, right, you you wouldn't you wouldn't be doing these things. You'd still be doing these things on the low, staying quiet about it. You still be, you know what I'm saying? You still wouldn't go back to them. So it's the same principle. They but again, the accountability. They don't want to take, they don't want to understand what's right there in front of their face. You Aquarius literally want nothing to do with them. Like, even if you get the bread, even if you have the finances to take care of them full time, even if you, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they tell you that they love you and everything like that. You're still not going to do that. You still, because again, they messed up with you and you Aquarius know that. So now if, if those people are expecting you to, you know, wake up one day and decide to break up your situation right or they or they try to come back at you they're not even prepared to really understand on a spiritual level you aquarius have already put up your psychic defense even if they do come back they're not even going to expect the fact that you aquarius still want nothing to do with them. so that's another thing that they're not even taking into consideration that you're not even you aquarius are not even going to accept this x back because there's a spiritual a literal one, right? This is why it is I, I, I don't use uh, metaf metaphors with spirituality interchangeably like that because spirituality is a real thing. I'm just using metaphor. I just I, I'll just say the word metaphorically or whatever because I'm not I'm not awesome. You know, I'm not trying to start going wild and all this other type of stuff, right? 
So the emperor right here represents how, and, and see, that's the thing. A lot of you are very much more patient, but you Aquarius are patient for the things that you're patient for. Like, forget about all this other type of nonsense. Forget about the dysfunction. Forget about the dysfunctions that you Aquarius have had to face in the past. Forget about all that stuff. You Aquarius are, you have already set yourself on a new path like I've been saying. Because you spiritually are, spirit, you Aquarius are spiritually cleansed. Y'all have done the work where you have, you have excommunicated all of the people in your life that gives you a hard time. You Aquarius are like, look, if they giving you a hard time, they, y'all got to either figure it out where there's peace or they got to go. And you Aquarius, you Aquarius, excuse me, understand what it is that I'm talking about. You can't serve two masters. People be wanting money and all this other types. Money comes in and finances come in when there's peace. You can't, you can't make money to, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't make money when things are disorganized. People don't know how they can reach you, when they can reach you, right? You don't have a cell phone. You don't have a house phone. There's no way of reaching you. You down bad. You know what I'm saying? People coming through, trying to take things, trying to take money from you, stealing from you, all this goofy stuff. You can't have that. You can't come in with with with, with money. This is why it is, like I said from, from the film, Pursuit of Happiness and everything like that. Will Smith, which is based upon a real life character that Will Smith was playing, um, that person, they portrayed that person like they had to actually make peace with themselves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Towards the towards the end. Like you gotta like, you know what I'm saying? Like you have to, despite what's going on, you have to organize everything. And that's what he did. And he ended up being a millionaire now. You know? Hopefully with full custody. But the point that I'm trying to make here is the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups is about how, and so a lot of you, so a lot of people that, you know, really didn't want you anymore, you know, especially the ones that's fresh, right? Where you, they, you just broke up with them. You broke up with them about two, three, four months ago, recently, six months ago, the top of the year at the very beginning, late last year they're still on you but this time but see before it was about keeping you on a string because they on some dysfunctional stuff now it's about keeping you on a string but oh oh, oh, oh they about to lose you if they don't stop playing games you're not coming back you ain't calling them back you're not Stress, you're not pressed. You're not stressed out about having to reach back out to them. You don't remember their phone number. You're not reaching back out. They're trying to figure out what exactly is going on. And then, like I said before, if you have social media, right, which a lot of people tend to do, about four, if I'm not mistaken, about three billion people, three to four billion people do. That's half people on earth, right? Out of eight billion people. Three to four billion people on earth have social media. You feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? So myself included. So it's like, then they checking you out through social media. They they can't believe what they see, especially if you Aquarius are posting what it is that you've been up to on social media. They still, like I said, they stalking you. For you Aquarius that ain't been posting what you've been doing on social media. It's a, once again, it's still that mystery of how come you vanished? What have you been up to, right? Like I'm upset that you, Aquarius, like it's still that, perspective of how come you're not posting what you've been up to like how come you're not posting how worn out by life you are so that i can be happy about that that's the mentality that the exes have but it's still the mystery of well how come you aquarius not posting anything even if you aren't <laughs> there's no winning with these people but how come, you know what I'm saying? This is why it is that you got to get out of these people's lives because they always, somebody always got to take an L. Somebody always got to take a dub. Somebody's always got to take a loss dealing with people who have this type of mentality. And a lot of you Aquarius see it for what it is. And this is, again, psychic defense. 
There's also there's also a book that you Aquarius can get called Psychic Defense. Um, I hope the I hope the the asking price for that book don't raise up, you know. <laughs> but there's a book that y'all could get called Psychic Defense. I don't don't ask me the name of the um the author because I don't remember the name of it. But uh, if you want me to, just let me know in the comment section and I'll post up the link to that book from Amazon or from eBay or something like that. But anyway, let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify the um, the Emperor. Queen of Wands, Lovers, the Moon, no, excuse me, Lovers, the World, excuse me, Four of Wands, and last but not least is the Knight of Cups to clarify the Emperor. So the Queen of Wands and the lovers and the, the world represents you, Aquarius, honestly don't care where this person goes. Y'all don't care where this person goes. This person could, you know what I'm saying? Like this person can stay away from you for all you, Aquarius, care. You know, you don't care what happens to them because you're not there. You're not in that same frame of mind. You don't have to deal with that. And the Four of Wands and the Nine of Cups represents they know that and this is what they're so busy trying to disprove which they can't but other than that you Aquarius are doing an excellent job y'all are doing what it is I suggest which is to live y'all life and you know get rid of all of the goofies that's been in it because that's what you have to do whatever it is that you see people really giving you a hard time it's like listen the mentality has to be we're either going to engage in a peaceful way where we're both elevating right and actually get together and do something constructive or you gonna have to kick rocks you gotta you gotta get out of here that's the mentality with everything you know like you you don't have you don't you aquarius don't need some entitled goofy showing up with this all this entitlement drive bag and they want all of this and all of that and it's like but well, what are they producing that's valuable in exchange to you that's pretty much it comment on the video like the video subscribe to the youtube channel share the video i try to make my youtube channel grow to twenty thousand plus subs i have thirteen thousand nine hundred and twenty some odd please smash the subscribe button smash the like button hit the notification bell set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever i drop my video please watch this video all the way through if you can uh leave a comment it helps leave a like it helps appreciate you